Welcome back YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much guys for tuning in again. And here we are, we're going to review these two magnificent drones that I got in front of me here. If you can see, I got the uh, DJI Spark, the red one here, the Lava Red. And uh, we got the Mavic Mini, the newly addition to the drone family of DJI. We got the Mavic Mini here, and I got a controller, and I got only one battery because I only got the standard package for this DJI Mini. So we're going to talk about right now is which is better from these two drones and I will going to help you decide for you to know which one you're going to get. Stay tuned. I'll be back. guys thank you so much I told you I'm gonna be back so like what I promised we're gonna talk about today which of these two drones are, are better from one another and uh, all I can say as the saying goes you can have it all in the first place so these two drones has different functions from one another like this DJI Spark the old Spark that was released in April of 2017 so that is almost three years back already. We got the uh, DJI Spark here, the Lava Red color. This is a uh, two axis gimbal only. All right, the third one, the third axis is the uh, image stabilization or the electronic image stabilization. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And it got a uh, uh, obstacle avoidance sensor here in front, all right? and uh, the battery life of this is about 15 minutes as per in the box but in reality you're gonna get around the uh, maximum of 13 minutes if i'm not mistaken sometimes 12 minutes it depends on the weather condition of where you're flying your drone with now the difference between the uh this small dji uh, mavic mini here is really they're not actually dissembled each other and there's a lot of functions that Spark has that Mavic Mini does not have so we're going to talk about that so for this one as for you know DJI Spark you can launch DJI Spark without using a controller yeah you can just use it press the uh, power button twice here and uh, the scanner the monthly obstacle avoidance will scan your face and also the camera will scan you and it will you can actually bomb launch it and then you can do gesture control unlike the DJI Mavic Mini it does not have any sensors at all if you can check here this two one is just only stickers also in the on the uh, let me open up this one look how small this is you know, you know how small this one is. This is the uh, Mavic Mini that is the DJI Spark. Look how small it is. And the DJI Spark is not even foldable. While the uh, DJI Mavic Mini is a foldable drone. Just like its mother, the DJI Mavic Pro, the Mavic 2. And uh, look at this. Alright, so when it expanded, it looks exactly like this. See? now bigger than the spark the wingspan is around a lot bigger than the spark all right so look at this these are not sensors these are not sensors as well these are not sensors as well this is the exhaust and also here at the bottom is the exhaust where the heat can come out the DJI Mavic Mini here the gimbal is a three axis gimbal compared to the DJI spark it's only two axis gimbal both of them has a 12 megapixel camera but this one is totally different from this part this particular gimbal can shoot the 2.7k video resolution all right unlike the uh, dj spark it can only shoot for 1080p at 30 fps the 2.7k on mavic mini here is also at 30 fps but you can also pick the 1080ps it has a selection of 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second for 1080p 
but for 2.7K, it's only got 3. Point, uh, I mean 30 FPS only. The propellers of the Mavic Mini is not a quick release, unlike the DJI Spark, it has a quick release propellers. So I think Mavic, uh, the DJI uh, company actually did not purposely or purposely did not add the quick release on the propellers because it will add weight to it because they are really targeting the 249 grams for this for this little beast that I'm holding right now. US as for FAA, FAA rules if your drone is about 250 grams you get your need to register your drone so in order for you not to register your drone in the US DJI released the 249 grams Mavic Mini so this is considered as like a toy drone like what I mentioned DJI Spark you can actually uh, pump launch it without a controller while the DJI Mavic Mini here you can do a uh, hand lunch or pump lunch but you cannot control the Mavic Mini without using your controller you know you cannot use your cell phone your smartphone to control your Mavic Mini here without the controller and like the DJI Spark you can control it using uh, your even your phone if you forgot the uh, controller of your Spark you can use your smartphone to control this one of course but it's not going to go far away because the distance from the Wi-Fi connection from your phone to your DJI Spark is really limited okay so talk about we're, we're talking about the controller right now here of the DJI Spark and the DJI Mini um, I just want to highlight this one out I, I don't have the I don't have the controller for the Spark because I just want to do a shout out first for my friend Ruel Tamayo who uh, actually uh, kind enough to lend his drone to me his DJI Spark here for this review to help you guys well shout out to you my man thanks so much you're so kind about it and I promise I'll take care of it and here we are we're gonna watch your drone on this video and on my channel <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Aurel. Uh, this is the DJI Mavic Mini controller. Okay, the controller for the DJI uh, Spark here. You have to connect your smartphone to the controller via Wi-Fi. All right. You have also an option to use an OTG cable connected from your DJI Spark controller to your phone. I think DJI uh, already released way back uh, an update for the DJI Spark that you can actually use now with the uh, OTG cable to your phone and to your uh, controller right so for DJI Spark it has a gesture control for the optical avoidance here and the camera we can do hand lunch and uh, gesture controls it has an active track Active track is really nice. It's really cool. I like that. Of course, you're gonna fly your drone in the open field, like the, the uh, farm, beaches, you know, some, some sort like that. All right. So back on. It has the uh, what do you call this? An uh, in-flight uh, cool things like the circle, the uh, helix, and the uh, what do you call that? I forgot it. <laughs> oh, rocket! Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it has a rocket thing. Uh, the in flight intelligent modes of the DJI Spark. Now, for DJI Mavic Mini, it has as well an intelligent flight modes. Or, actually, on the app, it says the helix, the rocket, the circle me. Alright? those things and the drone both of them has but the DJI Mavic Mini doesn't have the obstacle oh no 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 this obstacle but the active track DJI Mavic Mini does not have the active track that's the only thing missing in here I hope DJI will develop a new drone just like the Mavic Mini here that has the same feature as the Spark the active track what I need to say okay 
So for the DJI Spark S1080 P2 access gimbal here, you can actually on the app of DJI Go app, Spark runs on a DJI Go app, while the DJI Mavic Mini here, uh, DJI develop a new app which is the DJI Fly app. It's a stripped down version of the DJI Go app. It's really kind of basic. Really, really basic for me. I find it really, really basic, you know. Uh, it doesn't have any control for the camera, the settings, the aperture, uh, the, the ISO, some sort of like that. While the DJI Spark, it has all of those things. You can play along the settings of your of your uh, camera while you're flying. So you can capture a captivating video or photo while you play along with it. Alright? Okay. So, like what I mentioned, DJI Mavic Mini here has a battery life of, guess what guys, 30 minutes, 30 minutes of flight time as per in the box. <clears throat> and this one, I lasted about uh, 26, 26, 30, 26 minutes and 30 seconds for my battery. I put it down around 10%. I got 10% uh, battery left on my uh, Mavic Mini. Actually, the only problem that I experienced with the DJI Mavic Mini here while I'm using the controller and my smartphone, I'm using an Android phone, alright? So when I connect the ODG cable from this uh, controller to my phone, the direction of the connector of the micro USB is totally different because DJI designed this kind of stuff here. You can actually too, too short for the OTG cable, but the adapter that will connect the, the, my, the OTG to my phone is really inverted. My phone is inverted, the connection is inverted. So I have to buy from an online shop this one so I can twist this connector from the uh, controller connecting to my phone so I have to do that so I have to buy this all phones are different you know I they are really different unlike if you're gonna use the uh, type C connector and a lightning connector for the iPhone iPhone doesn't have any problem at all because you can either use each side but on the type C it's also the same like the lightning connector so for Android it's really unfair because not all smartphones or Android phones has the same uh, type of connector that is really not inverted. I don't know. So I have to buy this one, this long cord that I can twist and turn so I can connect my, my controller to my smartphone, to my Android phone. The Spark here, this too, by the way guys, RC version, all drones are being shipped here in the Philippines as CE version. Only the FCC version are being shipped in US. So anyhow, so the Spark here for the CE version and for the FCC version, it can go up to two kilometers. But for me, like what my my honest opinion, it still depends or it depends on the location where you're flying your journey. Now, for the Mavic Mini, the C version also says it's 2 kilometers maximum. But for the FCC version, they can go up to 4 kilometers. These two are really great drones. Okay? These, these two are really great drones for me. If you, if you want, or if you're having some problem which one to pick, because here in the Philippines, we, we, I think all the stores are stopped selling brand new DJI Spark. They discontinue shipping the brand new G DJI Spark here in the Philippines because uh, DJI Mavic Mini has been released. So I can hardly find any store that they are offering or selling FMC package for the DJI Spark. They said they discontinue. So here in the Philippines, right now, all the Spark holders, as I can see in social medias and uh, online. And uh, marketing thing they are selling their DJI Spark at a really cheaper price if I will tell you how much is it in US dollars around 2 
150, $250, or $20. You come across one time when I'm reading social media, this guy is actually selling uh, his DJI Spark. Uh, I, I think it's not an FFC, but it has an extra battery there um, for about 12,000 pesos. 12,000 pesos, uh, that's around 210. 20 or something like that or 20 dollars but right now they're selling around 250 dollars at least 17 just below 20,000 pesos that's it <laughs> below 20,000 pesos it's an FMC already 17,000 pesos they are selling it the FMC version of their DJI Spark I don't know why I think they're trying to buy the Mavic Mini or upgrade it to a Mavic Air so even though I got the standard package, I'm really happy, you know, I'm really, really, I'm really happy about it. But right now, not all stores here in the Philippines yet are selling extra batteries and charging hub or accessories for the DJI Mavic, Mavic sorry. If you're going to ask me which of these two drones that I like most, well, it really depends on certain circumstances. If I am into a long flight time, I'm going to choose Mavic Mini. 249 grams. The weight of this, of Mavic Mini. And the Spark is heavier than the Mavic Mini. The Spark actually, I think, clocks in around 360 grams. Try to weigh it on the electronic scale. It clocks in 361 uh, grams, including the battery on it. So it's really heavier than the, the Mavic Mini. So if you're flying it and uh, there's a lot because of wind, it's totally fine. The uh, Mavic Mini here, since this is a light drone, 249 grams drone, I'm not advising you guys to fly this, this magnificent drone unless a strong wind on it. Because you might want to think about it before flying this Mavic Mini because you will get experience flying this. A lot of drone owners of Mavic Mini are now selling their their bad extra batteries, their uh, accessories from the one that comes with the FMC because you got their Mavic Mini fly away when they're flying their drone. Why? One reason only. Of the strong wind. They tried to bring back the Mavic Mini in sport mode, but since above there's a lot, I mean, there's a strong wind out there or above there, the Mavic Mini cannot compensate and cannot fight the strong wind just to get it back to the owner or to the pilot, right? And also maintain line of sight. Line of sight. I like the Mavic Mini because. This one is really light, too small, really handy. You can actually put it in your pocket. It has a, two, a three axis gimbal, 2.7K, there is video resolution. The Spark here is a 1080p, two axis gimbal. Well, it really depends on you guys. You can fly each of this drone and capture a captivating video on your subject. If you are an experienced pilot, can handle each one of these whether you're using the spark or the Mavic Mini. Now if you go if you are into an active track uh, just like that and has an obstacle avoidance go with the spark and if you're not really that much techy or that much of a enthusiast of the active track you can go with the Mavic Mini so it really depends on you guys so your preference all right, I would suggest get them both. <laughs> Since here in the Philippines, you can find here cheaper price, even though it's a second hand, I'm gonna buy it, but my wife doesn't want me to buy it. <laughs> These two drones are your investment. Take care of it, fly with it, play with it, and don't forget, always, Follow the rules when you're flying your drone. In the Philippines, my fellow Filipinos, please guys, stop posting your videos or pictures that you're flying your Mavic Mini during nighttime. It is impact.
imperative for you to follow the, the rules on flying your drones. We are not supposed to fly during at night unless you are being authorized by the CAAP and you are a duty licensed pilot. If you're using that just for playing with it, no. You're gonna destroy the drone hobby community. Don't be a fool. Alright? Okay guys, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have some uh, idea already on which of these two drones are better for one another. Of course they are really different. You cannot really have everything. Alright? Thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned again for new videos because I'm going to upload new videos of this of my Mavic Mini here and I'm going to do some cinematic shots and I'm going to do some kind of a video, short clip video using my Mavic Mini and my Osmo Mobile too. Right? Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button here. If you're not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe. Click the bell icon and click the like button. Also, don't, sh don't forget. You can share this video as well to your colleagues, to your friends, so that they have some idea too. If you have any suggestions or comments, please please write down below there your comments or suggestions. If I, if, I, if I forgot something to mention here in this video, this review, please do write it at the bottom there in the comment section. Thank you guys again for watching. Good night guys. See ya.